from KARK4 and Fox 16, this is a special report. Here's Mitch McCoy. And good day to you across all of our digital platforms. I'm Mitch McCoy here at KRK4 and Fox 16 and a statewide Amber Alert for a missing 17 year old that was reportedly being held for ransom has been canceled. That Amber Alert now officially inactivated by Arkansas State Police and the Hot Springs Police Department after authorities confirm that young 17 year old girl has been found and is safe. We're going to walk through what we know at this very moment, which there's not a lot of details at this exact second because this is still uh, information that is coming in by the moment. But what we know right now is that the 17 year old who, by the way, we are not identifying anymore because uh, she is um, uh, considered a juvenile and is no longer in con uh, considered uh, endangered or, or um, her information doesn't need to be public. We are withholding that for now. But what, what I can report to you is that she was last seen at this parking garage that we're showing in this video right here. This is where our photographer, um, uh, you know, uh, was at earlier today and was uh, actually um, uh, capturing the the sights and the sounds of this area the 17 year old uh, was was walking home uh, from or was walking to her car from her place of employment which is nearby when according to um, one of her co-workers the young girl was not there anymore when they start tried to reach her the 17 year old uh, her phone was not uh, being picked up and then somebody said uh, that she was fine and then uh, according to her mom a man was reportedly holding her for ransom demanding ten thousand uh, dollars or this 17 year old girl would be killed i mean this is just one of the most really uh, a scene out of the movies type of Amber Alert that uh, we have seen in the state of Arkansas. Uh, and, and right now there is just a lot that we don't know that we are expecting to learn much more in the uh, hours to come. Uh, we're told by the Hot Springs uh, Police Department that detectives are in the process of trying to interview that young girl uh, and will be interviewed by detectives here momentarily to try and get a sense of what happened today. Uh, to try and get an idea of um, what happened last night with the car, uh, to try and get a sense of uh, how the whole ransom thing came to be. Uh, we don't know those details yet. We don't know how the young girl was found. We don't know uh, if, in fact, a ransom was paid. We just don't have those answers yet. And those are all things that we are expecting to get, um, hopefully here in, in the next uh, couple of hours uh, from the Hot Springs Police Department because there are just so many questions as to how did we go from a 17-year-old girl going from her place of employment to a parking garage disappearing and then her mom being told that she needs $10,000 or she would be killed. I, I mean, there are just so many fast moving parts to this story and the detectives are now um, in the process of working this and they are going to do uh, what they can to try and figure out and try and fill in the dots here because there simply are so many questions. Our um, Jessica Rank has been on the scene uh, most of the day. Uh, she, we are expecting a live report from her uh, coming up on KRK4 News at 4. And as we um, continue to uh, piece together information and we, as we piece together exactly what happened, uh, we uh, are, are outside of the Hot Springs Police Department. Uh, we are uh, expecting to get an update here um, at some point tonight. And that is why our Jessica Rank is there and is working her sources to try and figure out um, what details we can report, what details are confirmed, because of course we know Right now, uh, it is so important to, to pass as much information along as possible. Let's just reset what we know right now and how we got to be at this moment today. Uh, we know that there was an Amber Alert issued uh, by Arkansas State Police and by the uh, requested, uh, requested by the Hot Springs Police Department. Um, 
Yep, requested by the Hot Springs Police Department. That was this morning and late last night. That was because the 17 year old girl was walking to her car and somebody may have requested to use her cell phone. Uh, one of her friends went to go get the car. When she came back, they were all gone. One moment, the young girl says she's fine. The next moment, there's a man answering her phone demanding $10,000 or she would be killed. I mean, this is just uh, an absolutely unbelievable uh, nightmare scenario for any parent who, who hears something like that. Uh, and then uh, earlier this afternoon, there was an update, a major update to the Amber Alert. And that update consists of a, 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 per, a possible person or a vehicle of interest update, which was issued by the Arkansas State Police, and it was a vehicle uh, with Tennessee license plates, and we didn't have much context to why there was that update, or if maybe that update is the reason why this Amber Alert is now canceled. We, we just don't know, uh, but there are a lot of questions. And then, of course, uh, within the last 30 minutes, the Hot Springs Police Department confirmed uh, to KRK uh, and our crew that in fact, this 17 year old girl who has been the center of a statewide Amber Alert for approximately six hours has been found and is safe. Uh, so there are a lot of moving parts to all of this uh, and we will um, try and get as much information as possible uh, to pass it along to you. Let's go ahead and what I want to tell you is that we uh, there is a reason why I'm still talking uh, at this point. I promise there's a reason uh, and that is because at any moment here we are going to be getting a live report from um, our Jessica Rank. She is live at the Hot Springs Police Department. Uh, she's standing by for our viewers that will be joining us on the television side. So for folks that have a t uh, television nearby, go ahead right now and tune in to KRK4. Uh, that is where our live coverage will um, can, uh, really start here uh, in about 90 seconds. Uh, that's where Mallory Brooks is and our Jessica Rank and we'll have live coverage there. But for folks that uh, are unable to join us on our uh, television broadcast, we will briefly dip into Jessica Rank's live report from the Hot Springs Police Department. And that live report will begin uh, here in uh, about 60 seconds. Um, we're, we're watching those live pictures and we're waiting for um, Jessica to, to begin her update. But uh, a completely wild scenario uh, to how this uh, Amber Alert uh, really went down today. For, I mean, again, a, a nightmare scenario for any parent, really something that would be uh, that something that we would see in the movie. So we will be watching this live report. It will begin here in just a moment. Uh, but again, uh, the Amber Alert has been canceled. We have been watching for developments throughout the day. There have been very few developments from Hot Springs Police, but I think for the most part, the, the biggest update today, uh, which really could be the, the best update that we get today is the fact that uh, the Amber Alert has been canceled and this young girl uh, has been found safe. So we're going to uh, wait for this live report uh, to begin uh, on Channel 4. It should begin here in just a moment. But um, looking into some of the comments and seeing if there are any questions. We are told that detectives right now are going to be interviewing uh, the 17 year old. So yeah, that for, for folks just joining us, the 17 year old will be getting interviewed by authorities. And at this point, we will wait to see what authorities are able to uncover. Uh, I think that that's one of the, the more interesting things is when does, I mean, she, you know, this is a 17 year old. I mean, she still has uh, her, her um, rights to uh, uh, be with her parents. And that will, of course, be the first thing that authorities want to accomplish is reunite them. And then at that point, that is when detectives uh, would likely begin their interview process to try and uh, gather insight and try and gather some kind of ideas to what happened um, and, and what, how we got to this point today. Let's go ahead and we're going to just dip into our 
Um, television broadcast side, uh, KROK 4, News at 4, it's starting right now. Um, Jessica Rank is there at uh, the scene. Let's go ahead and listen in to that live report. Um, just click, uh, clicking a couple different buttons. Again, this is going to be for folks that are um, uh, Jessica Rank is doing this for our television yeah, side. Yeah, very good we'll news for this family out here in Garland County and in Hot Springs. Just about a half hour ago, we received information from the Hot Springs Police Department that this 17 year old girl that they've been searching for since about 930 last night has been found and she is safe. Now, right now we're told she is with police detectives and that's when they're going to kind of start that whole process asking questions about what led up to this and what she experienced in the last 18 or 19 hours that she was gone missing. Now, still, we have a lot of questions here. Family has a lot of questions surrounding this. We'll kind of back up into the details of this case. Earlier today, we were told by police that this 17 year old girl was leaving work from a bakery in downtown Hot Springs, headed with a coworker over to a parking deck or a parking structure nearby when they were approached by a woman who was asking for help, asking to use the 17 year old cell phone. That's when the coworker left to go grab her car and by the time she came back the 17 year old was missing and gone. Now of course family members talked to me and they were telling me earlier today they've been searching all day for this 17 year old uh, as they were trying to track down and find her and I just received a call from the grandmother of the 17 year old who went missing uh, as she almost came back up on her granddaughter very happy and very excited to have her back in her arms uh, in her arms tonight. So again, a lot of questions still here about what led up to this uh, attempted kidnapping or kidnapping and what proceeded after and police what they're questioning that girl now. Of course, we'll continue to keep you updated on this as we find more. Uh, we'll be out here for the next couple of hours, but Mallory, we'll go ahead and send it on back to you. Okay, uh, that was our Jessica Rank uh, doing a live report for our television broadcast uh, platform on uh, KRK4 uh, right now. We are getting another update, and this was actually while Jessica was uh, on the air, and this is the fact that uh, the Hot Springs Police Department, while they have located this 17-year-old uh, girl, they are still looking for the vehicle uh, or the vehicle of interest that is connected to this case, and that's going to be a 2021 white Nissan uh, Versa with a Tennessee license plate 59BD82. Again, that's 59B as in boy, D as in dog, 82. Uh, we're going to make sure that that's available on our website as well at krk.com and fox16.com. But a lot of moving parts here uh, this afternoon, but I think that the most important update that we can pass along is the fact that this 17 year old girl is safe. As mentioned, we are uh, here at, at least uh, for the time being here at KRK and Fox 16. We are withholding that young girl's name uh, because at this point she is a juvenile and she appears at this point to be the victim to a crime. And so until we know further, that is how uh, we have always operated things uh, as a newsroom and, and journal, uh, using our journalistic standards. Uh, it is our duty to protect victims, uh, especially young children, pe you know, juveniles, making sure that they are protected as well. So uh, there's a lot of moving parts. Our Jessica Rank will be live on KRK4 News at 5. Of course, our live coverage also on Fox 16 News at 530. For now, I'm Mitch McCoy. This has been a special report uh, from KRK4 and Fox 16. Have a good rest of your day. This has been a special report from Fox 16 and KARK4.